Hello, my name is Jun Hong Liu, and I currently work at NVIDIA. I will be talking to you today about Vernal Grid Conversion Optimization with Tensor Cores that I've done with my colleagues Dong Xuyang and Junjie Lai. I will break it down into three parts. First, I will go over the basics of NVIDIA Tensor Cores and Vernal Grid Convolution. Next, I will introduce our Vernal Grid Convolution methods, including input transformation and batched matrix multiplication. And lastly, I will quickly show the results of accuracy and performance. Convolution computing is one of the primary time-consuming part of convolutional neural networks. On the hardware side, to accelerate neural networks, NVIDIA first put forward tensor cores with the released Volta architecture. It is a specialized hardware execution unit performing matrix instructions, which are very different from a regular scalar FP32 cores. Here is a diagram demonstrating the mixed precision matrix multiplication on Volta tensor cores. On every clock cycle, it multiplies to 4 by 4 half precision matrices, resulting in a FP32 product, which is then added to the accumulator. For Ampere architecture, 16 by 8 by 8 and 16 by 8 by 16 matrix shapes are supported for half precision matrix instructions. It can accelerate mass and memory limited operations. Another approach to accelerate convolution computing is to reduce the computation complexity. Recent work on window grid convolution can reduce the computation complexity a lot, making the convolution computing fast. We denote the 2D tile window grid convolution as F, M by M, R by R, where M by M is output tile size and R by R is the filter size, and the input tile size is M plus R minus 1 by M plus R minus 1. The computational formula of 2D tau window grid convolution is as listed here. A, J, and B are transformation matrices. Given M and R, these transformation matrices are not unique. F represents filter kernel and I denotes the input tensor. We divide the formula into four sub-formulas. The first is called filter transformation. The second is called input transformation. The third is called element-wise multiplication. And the last is output transformation. The red diagram shows the overview of F6 by 6, 3 by 3 window grid convolution on real tensor data. The shape of the input tensor is in the format NCHW, which will be divided into 8 by 8 input tiles to proceed into input transformation. Although the field tensor tiles are transformed through field transformation, then the result tensors of input transformation and the field transformation conduct element-wise multiplication, which can be converted to batch matrix multiplication. Finally, by calculating the output transformation and combining the result tiles, the window grid conversion is completed. However, existing implementations of window grid conversion are limited to small tiles like F2 by 2, 3 by 3, and F4 by 4, 3 by 3. These small tile window grid conversion have smaller reduction of arithmetic complexity than F6 by 6. 3 by 3. Also, existing implementations of window grid conversion are mostly using single precision data, which consumes more memory and computes lower than that of half precision data, and they do not use tensor cores for all the four parts of window grid conversion. Theoretically, F6 by 6, 3 by 3 window grid conversion have the most reduction of 
arithmetic complexity than those of small tile window grid conversion, up to 5.06x reduction compared to the direct conversion, but it has lower numerical precision. In this talk, we focus on mixed precision at 6x6, 3x3 window grid conversion with tensor cores. Through our experiments, we found that it is sufficient to infer the convolutional neural networks and it can obtain a good performance. Now, let's get started to introduce our 6x6, 3x3 window grid convolution method. We mainly introduce input transformation here. Field transformation is similar to it, and output transformation is an inverse process of it. For more details about these two parts, please check our paper. The equation of the input transformation is this. Uh, here, uh, B is the input transformation matrix, and its shape is A times it. I is the input tensor tail, uh, which also has a shape of 8 times 8. As tensor cores uh, support 16 by 8 by 8 matrix shape and ampere GPU, to efficiently use tensor cores, we converted the input transformation to this formula. Furthermore, we split the formula to three sequence computing. The first and the last are matrix multiplication. And the second is matrix transport operation. Now we can compute two input tiles for each 16 by 8 by 8 tensor core matrix instruction. Specifically, we divided the input transformation into four steps. The first step is to load input tensor to registers. In this step, we guarantee the coalesced memory access to global memory. Although we use vector loads to increase the bandwidth utilization and uh, decrease the number of executed uh, instructions. As elements in each slide of one warp is not the right data for tensor core matrix instruction after the first step, we need to reorganize the register layout for each warp. In this step, we leverage the faster shuffle instructions to implement the function. Then the third step comes to perform the input transformation using tensor cores, including to matrix multiplication. Um, between the two matrix multiplications, one matrix uh, uh, transpose operation is required. We also use fast uh, shuffle instructions to implement the matrix transpose. Finally, the results are stored back to group memory. Here we use one shared memory buffer to guarantee coalesced global memory access. The other part of window grid conversion is element-wise multiplication, which can be converted to batched matrix multiplication using tensor cores. An ampere architecture using memory copy async API, the data in global memory can be directly loaded into shared memory without using intermediate registers. The memory copy async ATI enables CUDA kernels to overlap computation with data movement. We designed the load and computing pipeline to have memory latency. For the last part of this talk, I will give some accuracy and performance evaluations. We evaluate the accuracy and the performance of our mixed precision manual grid convolution on Ampere A100 GPUs for the 3x3 convolution layers in VGG and the Fusion Night network. We compare the performance of our method with that implementations from CoDNN. The table shows the maximum and average absolute errors of different window grid convolution for layers in VGG and Fusion Net network. The ground truth was computed by direct convolution algorithm with single precision data. The values of input and field tensors are randomly generated with a uniform distribution. 
Overall, F6 by 6, 3 by 3, when no grid has a larger error than F4 by 4, 3 by 3, and F2 by 2, 3 by 3, when no grid method. But it is still acceptable for neural networks, as deep convolution neural networks require little numerical precision. From our experiments of implementing the whole VGT network, we can also see that. Because the accuracy of VGG network with single precision data is 71.22%, the accuracy using high precision data type is 71.23%. Using our mixed precision window grid convolution, the accuracy is 71.24%. That is, the accuracy of VGG network with different data type is almost the same. This table shows our mixed precision F6 by 6, 3 by 3 window grid convolution performance, including running time and speed ups. Our method performs better than two Gaussian algorithms at every layer. Now I will finish my talk with concurrence. We propose an optimized mixed precision F6 by 6, 3 by 3 window grid convolution. And NVIDIA Ampere GPUs using tensor cores. Our experiments show that the accuracy of mixed precision F6 by 6, 3 by 3 window grid convolution is sufficient to infer the convolutional neural networks. Our methods achieve good speed ups on NVIDIA Ampere E100 compared with state of the art implementations in CoDNN. Thanks for your time.